Hi everyone, today I want to talk again about the new Arakia Witch Doctor with Cough Spiders that has been the big redesign of Season 25. So I already showed this and gave some quite devastating feedback on the first version of the set when it came on the PTR. And since then a lot of stuff has actually changed and definitely for the better. So what Blizzard has done is they gave it some new infest mechanic. And the way that works is that you have your uh, big spider queen on a leash and then you can command her to go wherever you throw your corpse spiders and anything that touches that leash will be infested and it will stay infested for basically the entire time. So as long as they are like on the webs that are like basically everywhere, they will keep that buff and every enemy that is infested will take damage whenever any other enemy is getting hit by a corpse spider. So essentially every single attack of every single corpse spider will be spread to all other targets that are in this infested chain and you can produce massive RE damage when you have a large pull. The range of that is pretty large and you can essentially stack up an entire map in one place, infest it all and hit everything at once. So like this you have insane damage potential. So overall this is a truly unique and interesting mechanic that I think we're gonna see some very interesting strategies evolve with. Personally I believe that Arake Witch Doctor looked a bit too bad compared to what it will actually do on a live servers once people have really figured out how to use this mechanic properly. But it is definitely not really in a bad spot anymore. You can farm with it, you can make small pulls as well and melt them down. You have this Brood of RNA belt which is the new belt that gives the Corp Spiders the ability to ramp up their damage over time. Unfortunately those stacks only last 5 seconds and they have individual timers so there's kind of a maximum amount of stacks you can get. Which usually means something like an up 200-250% damage increase on a single target and then less and less the more targets there are as your Corp Spiders spread out to more of them. So on the one side this build has insane AOE potential with this infest mechanic. And on the other side it also has insane single target potential and the in-between is not really great. I was melting GR150 with Guardians with the Season 25 theme in something like 30 seconds or so. So the single target is definitely really good. It's like one of the best RGKs in the game now actually. And if it wasn't for Inner Monk being so ridiculously OP then we could potentially see some Witch Doctors in groups more often. I think you're gonna see quite a lot of witch doctors around next season anyway because of the buffs to the Lakumba and the Shukrani giving a lot of the old builds some more power, some more toughness, improving quality of life and witch doctor in general is not in a bad spot with Zunimasa being very powerful, Mundunugu and now also Eric here and you have kind of the option to have a really strong AOE DPS setup or a really strong single target setup or something in between even with Zunimasa. So these builds are definitely on the point of being usable for rather easy GR150 clears in groups. In solo as well they will go all the way I believe, but probably something like Arakia is going to be the most difficult one. Personally I believe that the set could be bumped up a tiny bit more, something like maybe another 2 or 3 tier buff, where maybe the Corp Spider support items are in, in, improved a little bit to just give it a bit more of like an exciting effect and exciting like new entry into the game. But overall Arakia is already looking quite solid I believe. It remains to be seen how this will be after season 25 because the soul shards for pet builds in particular are extremely powerful and well while this applies to most of those powerful Witch Doctor builds it makes it so that the Witch Doctor just seems overall a bit stronger than it actually is because Drex of Lies is just so good, especially in groups. So realistically to make Witch Doctors a bit more viable, they could just bump it up a little bit more without actually touching the Drex of Lies, but rather improving the set or improving the Corpse Spiders themselves a little bit so that even after Season 25 we're gonna have a bit of a chance to introduce the Witch Doctor in some groups. In any case, while I gave very bad feedback the first time around, I think that now things have definitely changed and it feels much more fun to play. It definitely has some uniqueness, some exciting stuff to try out and learn especially. So there seems to be some set that will just take some time to be fully figured out I believe. But for now this is essentially how it works and it does work rather well. I just like to see a bit more power so that more people would actually be looking forward to trying it out and not all just go to play Monk.
I think it's also good that I have addressed one of the main issues that I had with the set, which was just that it was too boring to play because there was nothing to do. So you only stood there trying to throw spiders as much as possible on the target and hope that they actually hit the right target, which you cannot really control. So this is a little bit like mirror images, but not like they run away and don't attack anything. They just don't necessarily attack exactly the right target, which is also the, right, the reason why your damage in AoE is quite a bit lower, but on the other hand you have this infest mechanic so you can spread the damage to everything. So in the end you will actually run into the situation where you will be pretty much able to predict how long you will need to defeat a certain target at a certain greater rift tier with your character. And you will know pretty much exactly how long you have to fight a, a certain like, pack size or a certain enemy because it just kind of like normalizes the DPS, especially in AoE, with this infest mechanic. So there is an extra mechanic involved where the infested target that gets hit by a spider actually takes the damage twice. So it takes the attack damage and it takes the infest damage. And this makes it so that the single target is so much more powerful than the AoE. But since you can hit all targets at once, it just becomes a massive AoE powerhouse and essentially only want to avoid those kind of small medium sized pulls. So either you want to have single target or you want to have like 100 enemies at a time. And you can just kind of like drag everything along with you through a good rift, have like four or five elite packs, you know, slowly walking behind you and slowly let them die from all the attacks on the spiders that actually hit other targets. So that's very interesting. They also did address the pet multipliers not working. So now Mask of Sharon is there and Forza works. You have theoretically Tasker and Theo, but you don't really want to use that. So I did a little bit of math and it seems that on single target with the Brute of RNA belt stacking up more DPS from the spider attacks, like attacking more frequently, you could reach kind of similar levels to the Death Digger, but it will just be worse on literally every other scenario. So you just go with the Death Diggers as the second armor item that you wear with Ringer for Granger. And this is basically the setup. I have been experimenting a little bit with the Green Reaper, which spawns these two extra clones of you that also throw spiders, and that kind of works, but it is nowhere close enough to beat Death Diggers either. So this is basically a very straightforward setup where you can't really change that much. There are actually some quite interesting like endgame strategies that we have tried to make work in on the PDR, but this was kind of hard to do. So essentially the idea was to make use of this insane single target DPS while also having like a large pool infested somewhere nearby so that you had like one isolated big enemy and you have all your damage multipliers on that enemy and all of the damage is like one to one transferred to all the other enemies. So essentially you could also stack up Stricken, you have elite damage, you have, you know, whatever you put on it like Haunt for example, uh, Piranados. So you could have all that and have all the spiders hit like exactly this one target, let's say some elite Golgo or something. And then you could essentially melt the entire pull. But this is very hard to pull off even a group with supports pulling stuff around because enemies will simply follow you and you can't really decide what your corpse spiders will attack. Especially if the target is too small, your corpse spiders will kind of like try to surround it. And then once they can't attack it anymore, they will go to another target most of the time. The same problem also appears on some Rift Guardians that are too small with the hitbox, so they actually don't get the damage that they should from having all the spiders hitting them, even if they're single target, because the spiders can't actually reach them when there's too many of them. So this is not necessarily the biggest deal, but it's something to be aware about, I guess, so that some bosses might die a little bit faster than others because of this, and also some targets simply cannot really be attacked by too many spiders at once. So in any case, I'm kind of excited to see the new Arakia in action in Season 25. I believe it's going to be one of the more interesting leaderboards to keep an eye on because of all these new mechanics that people will have to spend some time figuring out. And I believe that in the end, it's actually going to perform quite well. In any case, I hope you enjoyed my review here and see you guys next time.